I'm here at EGX 2016. Uh, I've just had a chance to get my hands on shoe, and I'm here with Jonathan, who's the game and level designer yes. of the game. Uh, do you want to give us a little bit more information on shoe? Uh, so shoe is like your like a classic two, 2D platformer. Um, what we kind of have is a unique style on it. Is we have these 2D lovely like hand drawn characters mixed with blended together with these 3D environments that you'll traverse and go through as you play through the game. Um, the kind of twist on it is to take it away from like your typical platformer. Is each each world gives you two new villages that you'll save. Each, each bringing their own new ability as well, which changes gameplay variety and level flow. So, I mean, what was the genesis for the project? Where did the initial idea come from? Especially, the, especially those two very different art styles that, that come with it. Yeah, so it's kind of inspiration from playing like really old platformers that were Detroit. So, like you go back to the original Rayman, and then you see like more modern day ones when they rebooted it with Rayman Origins, Rayman Legends, and like for art style and art direction, you can see Ori. It's really colourful. It's really hand painted. And then blending that together, and then you see the opportunity most games use with 3D. You don't always have to have that third person platformer to do it. You can. It gives you that grit sense of depth when you've got a 2D character in a 3D world as well and just having it on the side scrolling slant allowed us to really create that like foreground, background and mid-ground that like you would have seen when you were going through the beginning of the game. So how, what, how did you come up with the initial idea for the game? And uh, the so it was actually um, Secret Lunch came up with the concept, they originated it um, and they what they did was ended up partnering with us to take the game forward. Um, the premise of the game was initially you are trying to outrun the end of the world which that's what the storm was envisioned as at, at the beginning uh, and over Overall, as you play through the game, uh, Shu has the knowledge of what he believes will be used to defeat the storm, and that's what your end goal is to try and do: is finally fight back against it. So, as you gain the two characters as you move on each level, does yeah. your chain of people become longer, or um, do you lose some along the way? So, what happens is at the end of each level, uh, there's the two villages will be saved and taken away by another character that you'll encounter in the game, and it means that we get to switch them out every world and give you two new sets of abilities, and you save them, and you're kind of building up because they're going to help you defeat the storm, ideally. And there's like, what kind of inspired that aesthetic? I love like the idea of when when the characters are holding hands. It's like it's very it's very cute, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. gives it that kind of cute feel. And uh, we did dabble, and the design has changed with the game. So it used to be that you would alternate between them, so they would switch order in the row and everything. And we kind of thought just to keep it flowing and keep the like so the player understood, just bring the game down to gameplay down to a core principle of you can have toggleable powers or active powers. So like something like water walking doesn't require like a button press. Uh, but it will be active and be timed, so you have to make sure you are conscious of that as well. So, I mean, I've just had a quick go, I think, just the one level now. Yeah. How many levels will be in the game? How uh, big is the final game? Uh, so, there'll be 15 levels in the game in total. The level you've played here today is actually the third level in the game. Uh, it's just so it shows we can kind of demo all aspects. So, we can demo time trials, we can demo the storm, and let you play with two ability powers instead of just one. Yeah. And it's coming out 4th of October? 4th of October, yes. Uh, it's getting close now. Uh, yeah. Quite excited, and we're very happy to actually have a launch day for the title. So, October 4th, you'll be able to pick it up on PS4 and Steam. Uh, shortly after, you be able to find it on Vita as well. Perfect. Well, I look forward to playing it as well. Thanks very much. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. I'm here at EGX 2016. I've just had a cut to have a We're here at EGX 2016. Oh. <laughs> it's the name of the game that we're about to do. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm blagging now. <laughs> so I'm here at EGX 2016. That sounded really weird. Like <laughs>